All right, so I'm decided to make this quick little video right here for anybody with a Generac generator that's having a, a what's the alarm? No, low voltage alarm. Uh, if you look, if you open up this side of the generator, I got it all taken apart now. But if you open up these covers and you look down right here and you see this dust right here, you've got slip ring failure, and it's you know it's, it's killing your brushes. Brushes are not really the problem; it's the slip ring. Uh, so here's the old slip ring. You can tell that's all worn out. It's supposed to be nice and smooth. This is worn out. That's what that's what's calling that brush to wear out. See, this is the new slip ring. It's nice and shiny and smooth. That's the way they're supposed to be. Anyway, tools gonna need. You're gonna need a bearing puller right there. You're gonna need a fan fan puller right here to pull that off. Uh, it's not gonna really be a how-to video. It's just uh, you know what you need to do. Uh, so bearing puller socket set you're gonna need a meter uh you know nice little mallet don't try not to use a hammer beating any of this stuff off but i'll tell you what i did is uh use the bearing puller to pull this bearing off use it to pull the slip ring off and you see the slip ring connection it's just a little crimp but it's just one crimp you know they had it wrapped around so i just put it back like that uh, when you pull this slip ring off make sure before you do that you use your meter to see which one of these rings goes to this wire so i just marked it on the other end i, just, I got a blue and a black wire it's really negative and positive uh but i just wrote blue and black i know the blue goes in the front the, the black's in the back so i just on the other side i wrote this blue so anyway just make sure you don't mix those up make sure you put it back the same way uh, most of the bolts are 10 millimeter. You will need a couple of other sockets. I can't remember right off the back, but you will need two by four to support this. You will need to take off or loosen the motor mount bolts. You got two in the front, one under. I don't know if you can see it under there, and one in the back. Um, so yeah, loosen those. This little guy is a little tricky to get off, um, but you use your mallet. You know, just keep tapping around it. It'll come off. This fan, I actually broke taking it off. This is supposed to be covered. I actually, I took that off wrong. So when you take this off, loosen up this bolt. This bolt has a washer on it. You don't have to take, a lot of people say, you gotta cut this bolt, whatever, to take the rotor out. Don't do none of that. But anyway, when you loosen this up, you know, it's supposed to, this washer's here. Loosen it up to where you got like maybe a quarter inch gap. And then you put your, your puller put your puller sitting on that bolt so when you start using your puller to pull this fan uh, off you'll have that quarter inch to pull into it once it once it pops off it, it'll be a loud little pop when it comes but then you'll be able to take this bolt all off everything will be loose you'll be able to take it all off and then yeah so yeah pretty uh pretty simple straightforward thing if anybody good in mechanical skills you should be able to do this uh the main thing is just don't damage the slip rings putting them back on uh the way i did put the slip ring back on is i used i used the bearing puller i put it on like that and i used my rubber mallet to beat it back on beat the slip ring back on and beat the bearing back on got them back both in the same spot they came off uh so yeah, this is how to fix the low voltage alarm, low voltage situation. Yep, Generac generator.